So thank you for joining me this evening. I want you to begin this meditation by uh, finding a nice comfortable position, uh, either laying down or sat up, if you sat up nice and straight with your palms either facing up or down. And just make sure you're nice and warm. And once you're there, I want you to take a nice big inhale and exhale and let it all go. And I want you to begin to imagine and create a big ball of light forming at your crown. And this light is filled with positive energy, love, joy, health. And it penetrates through the top of your head and starts to work its way down through your body. It's going to remove and absorb any stress and tension and fill you up with this wonderful, calm, peaceful feeling and fill you with strength. We're going to work our way down as the ball of light absorbs any stress, all tension and just leaves you feeling light, calm, tranquil as it works its way down through your face and your neck, engulfing your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your back. Removing and replacing, take a nice deep breath. As this ball of light engulfs you, keeps working its way down your back, your hands, your abdomen, your lower back, down over your legs. wonderful peaceful light just relaxing and soothing taking away everything you do not need anymore finally down to your feet it engulfs you from the tips of your toes to your heels and comes out the soles of your feet buries itself deep into the earth in front of you. You feel like you're a radiant glow of positive peaceful light. And I want you to let your mind wander and take you to the most beautiful sweet smelling field. A breeze gently brushes your face and your hair. The temperature is perfect and the sun shines down on your face and warms your skin. You become aware of a loving presence next to you and you can hear the faint sounds of breath coming from large nostrils. You turn around and the most beautiful dragon is looking back at you. You are not afraid. There is no fear here, nothing negative. The dragon is merely here to take you on to the next part of your journey, emulating tranquility and strength and friendship. The dragon lowers his tail so that you can climb up onto his back between its wings. And the dragon takes flight and it feels so perfectly magical. The wind flying through your hair. You're, you can feel your adrenaline happily pumping through your veins as you soar and fly, zipping between trees flying high up into the sky and then low down to the ground. 
feeling totally exhilarated, totally refreshed, so fun. You fly over fields, through the forest, until you can make out people in a castle in the near distance. You lean down and pet the dragon and feel how cold and rough the back of the dragon feels. Take a nice deep breath and let it go. And the dragon comes to land on the outside of a long brick wall. You slide down his tail and turn to face the dragon and the dragon blows air through his nostrils, blinks and bows to you. He then takes flight high up into the sky and you reflect and stand to admire the sheer magnific magnificence of this creature as he flies away. You take a stroll through the market, you can smell fresh fruit and hear the bustling of citizens talking, playing, selling. A child darts out from a stool and the sounds of laughter brush your ears. As you walk through, you then come to a clearing in a stone yard. The cobbles are smooth under your shoes. And in the center of the stone yard is the, so is the sword Excalibur. And the sword Excalibur is buried in a large stone. You are completely alone and are solely aware of the sword's incredible presence. You take a stroll over to the sword and climb up the stairs to stand directly behind it. You place both hands on the sword and you're aware of an incredible pulsing energy coming from the sword. You effortlessly lift the sword from the stone and you're engulfed in an amazing dome of light around you and your aura. The energy is pulsing, surrounding you, enveloping you like a warm sunlight. You can almost hear a choir singing as this energy fills you with abundance, strength, certainty and understanding of who you are. You embrace this feeling, embrace this light. Take a nice deep breath. And let it go. You lower the sword back into the stone and it attaches itself back to the stone with absolute certainty. You turn away from the sword and see a large wooden door that is the entrance to a large castle. The door unlocks and makes a big sound as the chains roll it open. You're in awe of the sheer stature of the door. The light bounces off the stone walls and the size of the great room you are greeted with is astounding. The room has a beautiful fireplace, a large open fireplace with a light crackle of burning wood and embers. And in the middle of the room is a large round table fit for knights, fit for you. You are completely alone in this great room. 
You take a seat in the exquisitely carved chair in front of you. And as you sit, you're greeted by people, guides, or animals sat in each of the other chairs. These are your loved ones, your spirit guides, or your lost loved ones. Each one is here to support you, here to love you unconditionally, here to give you a message. And you thank them graciously for their time. Take a nice deep breath and let it go. You sit in this perfect great room aware of their presence, aware of any messages for you. We will just exist in this peaceful place for a few moments. to take a nice deep breath and as you exhale you stand up from your chair you thank each and every one of your guides and loved ones for their presence and their love and you turn and walk through the large wooden door you came in from and you return yourself back to your physical body, becoming aware of the room in which you lay or sit, becoming aware of all of your muscles, your heartbeat, and give your fingers a wriggle, give your toes a wriggle, every muscle in your body a really good squeeze and release and let go I want you to take a nice big deep breath and let it go and open your eyes and smile Namaste, thank you.